My name is Hannes Schmidt. I'm a photographer and artist. I'm born in Switzerland in the late uh, 40s and uh, came out of a regular family, you know, however the life was that time after the Second World War. Uh, I did my education as an electrician and uh, very early decided that Switzerland is a little bit small for me and uh, I, I was, a, was a child who uh, was incredibly interested on things, uh, so I was very curious and I think curiosity is still something who is uh, guiding my life today. But then after my apprenticeship as an electrician, I decided to leave Switzerland. So I, I migrated to South Africa, to Cape Town that time. And that's where I started to discover my love and my passion for photography and the arts. For a short time, I visited the university in Cape Town and started to study arts. But then I discovered that maybe I should do my own way. As an autodidact, I started traveling in Asia, four years first in Africa, four years in Asia. And that was my new apprenticeship, that how I learn and get the feeling about what photography is all about. When I came back after this period of time, I somehow, somehow by an accident, dropped into the rock and roll scene and I started to live and travel with more than 250 bands from 77 to 84. And then the fashion world discovered me, so overnight I became one of the most wanted fashion photographer who actually did not fashion picture, but I started to find a new language between fashion and society and, and a kind of a, of a feeling who didn't exist by then. But in the 90s, early 90s, the tobacco industry really discovered me, so I started to work for the tobacco industry especially uh, Philip Morris, uh, they had a product called Marlboro where they invented the figure, the Marlboro Man, the Marlboro Cowboys in 1954. But they wanted a new language, a new picture language for me. They said, well, we know this since 54 and we need something new, something fresh, something different. So could you explore? But they said, you cannot change anything. So that was a very big challenge for me. So I started to work on the simplifying a picture. Just leave everything away, what is disturbing, and really go right down to the guts, start to working with colors, just with very close cuts. And overnight, my language, what I discovered for them, became world famous because it was straight, it was touching for people. And there was a communication, but for me actually it never was a cigarette. I kind of managed to bring the philosophy of freedom, the philosophy of America, packed in a new kind of format into the public. And this is one of my dreams today. I, I'm a communication guy. I want to communicate with any kind of language, with any kind of civilization, with any kind of races and people. And that's why we are here today at the uh, Zurich Airport. I will reach over 5.6 million people with my artwork here. And it's an amazing way to connect cultures. Culture whose 700 years ago took centuries or decades to travel from Asia to Europe to America. Now they travel here in hours. It takes 13 hours to fly to China. That means that really the cultures are connecting very quickly. And this is a part of reflection of our time. Today everything is fast. Actually the biggest luxury is time to have time. Because everybody can buy a watch, a car, but can you buy time? And I think this is reflecting in my work. Thank you.